and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Bob. So today we're going to talk about how to finally stop your back pain. Uh, most important thing you need to do. This is uh, from the work of Stuart McGill, who is probably the world's foremost expert on back pain. Sure. And he's written a book called The ba Back Mechanic. Uh, and uh, I, I would highly recommend it to anybody who has back pain. Yeah, I think I got a different book. He must have another one. Yeah, he's got some more textbooks name. too. But yeah. uh, okay. Oh. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, oh, and we yeah. upload every day. My job. Also, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. Mike, do you know what we're giving away? <laughs> it's nothing. We're giving away nothing today, but we'll start tomorrow That's again. Right. I think we're giving away a massager tomorrow, Ooh, starting good. that day. So check it out on the giveaways at Bob and Brad. Also, you can find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page That's starting good. Sunday. On Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, if you want a 60-second version of our program, our spitting bread. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> we also have a podcast. Oh, that's right, a podcast. Uh, so, Bob, what are we talking about here? How to finally stop your back pain? The most important thing you need to do is? Stop the cause. All right. I mean, you got to stop the cause. You can do all these other things, but if you keep firing it up, mm -hmm. it's just going to keep getting irritated. The, the nerves are going to stay sensitive. Yep. And they get to the point where you hardly can do anything and they're firing off. Sure. So Because uh, you might have hurt your back maybe lifting something or falling, but after that, there may be things that continually irritate it. Right. Making it stay forever. Exactly. Seemingly. And there's always something with everybody. We ask people, well, when does your back hurt? And they'll say, all the all time. The time. And, and we believe you, but... But it's not necessarily true. You can break it down. Usually there are periods of time where you don't have as much pain. Mm -hmm. So, Brad, let's start with the first one. I'm going to do the seat. Oh, that, I was wondering what that chair was yeah. doing there. <laughs> you look like you were getting comfortable there. Yeah. So, you're going to grab a chair. A good straight back chair is nice. But uh, what you're going to do is we're going to put load on the spine while you're in different positions and see which one... Makes it worse, and which one makes it better? So, so a firm chair is best. Yeah. So the first one, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit nice and straight. I'm gonna grab the seat pan, the bottom of the chair, and I'm gonna pull. So now I'm putting compression down through the oh. spine, and I'm gonna try it straight, okay? So and then I'm gonna try it bent like this, slumped over, slumped over. Yep. Now, if it makes it worse when it's rounded, which is very common, you now know. That's a position that's bad for you. That that's that increases the pain. Now let's try it another way, Brad. Yep. Rounded and your head down. Oh. Now we're putting pressure on the spinal cord. We're stretching the spinal cord. And so if you have a disc problem, this would probably make it worse yet. Now the final one is actually rounded and head up. Now, if that makes it worse, you actually have a, what they call an underhook nerve oh yeah. yeah that's a it's a whole different animal and uh you're just going to want to avoid this position obviously so one way or another and it's probably for probably most people i'm assuming we're gonna you're gonna uh, find out that it, it feels better straight like yeah that. so your posture good upright posture is most likely for most people needed all right brad why don't we do one with standing okay so i want you to do this boom <laughs> <laughs> Our chair fell over. Okay. We didn't uh, for forecast didn't, that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. First one we're going to do is uh, you're going to just stand straight yep, stand. and drop on your heels. So up and boom. So yep. you put a little shot yep. through the spine. And, and see how that feels. Yep. Now this time you're going to tighten up your abdomen. Like you try to poke your fingers into the side here. They don't go in because you tighten up your abdomen. Yep. I got tight. Tighten it straight up and try it again. Now, for mo many of you, that's going to feel better. And once again, what does that show you, Brad? It shows you can start controlling your pain. You can, you know, throughout the day, tighten your abdomen sure. when you're doing things. Yep. And you can maybe take away the pain. Right. Another one, Brad, is actually to relax the abdomen. But you're going to tighten your pecs, oh. chest muscle, and your lats. The muscle right here. That 
kind of goes together anyways. Yep. Yep. What happens is the lats attach into a fascia, like a belt that goes around your back. Mm. So you're going to try that instead. See if that helps helps decrease the pain. So you're going to tighten the pecs, tighten the lats, like you're pulling your arms down to your side. Drop your heel now and see if that feels better. If that feels better, one of those two feels better, that's the one you're going to want to do. They both wouldn't? You could try to do both, too. I could try to do all Well, I mean, if three. this felt good and then you tighten that up and they were both, well, it feels better. Yeah, you could do either one. Now. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one is you're actually going to try this, and this may really be good for someone, again, if they have a disc problem. You're going to try laying on your stomach like this, and you just lie there for like three minutes or two. Uh, it, first off, let me say this. If it starts to hurt within 30, uh, 30 seconds, it, it's probably not for you. Right. It, 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 we'd have to try something else. But uh, you let it settle for at least 30 seconds and see if it if you can handle it. Then I want you to lie for, for two minutes. Right. Because oftentimes, you know, after 30 seconds, if it's starting to feel better and better, well, then you're just going to continue. And, right. Uh, it should hopefully continue the same direction. So you try for two minutes. And if you can still tolerate that, you might try putting your chin up, uh, your ch chin up on two fists like this. Like that, yep. So now we have a little more arch in the back. Yep. And now that is also, you could go for uh, two or three minutes. Now, if those help, that's something you could do throughout the day. That's, that's going to help your disc problem. And uh, it's, uh, again, gives you another tool sure. to, to use throughout the day. All right, standing extension, Brad. Sure. So you're going to stand on both legs and extend your back. So just uh, lifting your arms up yep, automatically extends. extends your back. Yep. Sure. Now you can also twist to the right and twist to the left to see if one hurts. If you have spinal stenosis, I don't know. Do you feel this was your spondy, Brad? No. Okay. Although How if I stood if back, if I stood like this for a long time, for a few minutes, I would start to. Yeah. So for Brad, then he knows he can do this for a little while. Yep. But he, you don't want to even test it. You don't want to get it up to the point where it starts to hurt. So in other words, if you're doing an activity, which I have done yep. overhead, uh, doing a project. Oh, I get a terrible backache by the end of the day, and I wish maybe I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, you got to break it up, too. I mean, uh, Yeah, I have to is, sit down, take breaks. Which is really difficult. Or just have someone else do it for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's the other thing. Now, this is a little bit hard to understand here, but you can also try extending like this and putting, let's say if you have the pain on the right side. Sure. You put all your weight on that one side. So right side pain, put, yeah. lift up your left lift leg. Lift up the left leg. And what happens is you're kind of bracing this side now. Yep, automatically. Yep, kind of automatically. And you want to see if that feels better. Sure. If it does, you can kind of brace. You you realize that bracing kind of helps. But you don't have to have your arms out. No. No, that's no. just for the test. Yeah, that's so just, just for the test. Again, bracing the, the abdominal can help that back. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's the plank on the wall, Brad. Oh, so yeah. this is a, he's just showing you. Uh, you can put your forearms on the wall like this, and this is just a way to test different positions. Like you can uh, anteriorly uh, tilt your pelvis, it's a little more arch, po posteriorly tilt your pelvis, yep. and see which position involves. And you can even bend and uh, flex and extend your hips a little bit. And if you find a position that's good for you, that's where your back should be uh, throughout the day and when you're lifting or when you're bending forward. You want to keep your back in that position, right? So you're, yeah, you're, you're finding, you're finding the neutral position that works for you, right? So where's our dumbbells? Oh, here they are. Oh, right. hey, Brad, we'll just. These been pretty used, Bob. There's little rubber coatings off. And yeah. Rusted. Wow. All right, so you're gonna start with the dumbbell close to you, like mm -hmm. this, and you're gonna have your back is in good posture, and you're gonna see. If it feels okay here, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna put it out like this and see if it feels okay here. If it doesn't feel okay here, that means you're load intolerant. That you really can't do any lifting groceries or I mean, um, do any lifting of any sorts right. until Anything things that, calm down. That loads it, so it's just a sample. Yeah, that's right. Test, test, test load. 
These are eight pounds. These are oddball dumbbells, Bob. Yeah. So the other thing, Brad, um, you can try to do it with just five pounds. Sure. But now you're going to try bracing again. Remember that, Brad, yep. where we would brace the, the belly? Tighten that up. Tighten it up. And now go out. Now, if you find that that controls your pain, you got another sure. clue. You can you can do some loads, but you have to brace. Sure. So, so there's a number of these, if you kind of keep track of them, that kind of overlap each other a little bit and have some uh, continuity. Now, if you found out, uh, for some of you, this is going to be, this is probably more for the athlete. But you could take a 45-pound 45 pound, 45 pound <laughs> bar. Not everyone has one. Yeah. And if you're at the gym and you put it up on your back like this, and I'm going to twist, Brad. Yeah, I'm getting out of the you way. Right. You saw it coming. So I'm going to, again, do an anterior pelvic tilt. So he's getting that arch right in here. And a posterior pelvic tilt. Yep. And I want to see if that hurts my back or does it have to be in neutral. Right. So again, we're checking the load on the pelvis and the, the spine. So. Yeah, that is one of those things that, uh, again, you're, you're an athlete or you've been yeah. lifting weights for probably a while. Yeah, and I, I gave the example of my son. He he is having pain with squats, and he's extending too much. Mm -hmm. And he found we found out that if he keeps his back a little bit flatter, yep. he does better. So. Tightens up the stomach a little more. Now, the final thing is uh, just with standing, I want you to stand and feel the muscles of your back, and they should be relaxed. If they aren't, I want you to try straightening up a little bit, a little bit more, and feel if they're relaxed. Also, I want you to try this with Fred. Poke your head forward, mm -hmm. and you'll feel the muscles tighten, don't they? Yep. So I'm feeling right in yep. there. So make sure you're chin tucked. You're tucking your chin back, and that'll relax them. When you got to stand for a long period of time, you want to make sure the muscles of your back are relaxed. You don't want them tightened all day long. Right. So... Find the posture that relaxes the muscles. Make sure your neck is aligned correctly because if it's forward, it's going to put stress on the back. You can feel it go right down the chain, don't you, Brad? Yeah, it, it's one of those basic concepts, posture, 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 and it's teaching you how posture for you is good. Yeah, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Who's that? Yes. <laughs> Marsha Brady? Yes. The Brady Bunch. I know that's yeah. I know that show. All right. Remember, Brad and I can fix about anything. Except for a broken heart. That's right. But uh, one day we'll get to it, I'm sure. Yeah, and that will be the final frontier. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Who's Marsha?